You only had your breakfast an hour ago. Well, I'll burn it off in a bit. Some of us actually do some proper work. Oh, yeah. Manual labour is so macho. No, well, we can't all be ponching about playing architects. Hey, listen. Don't you knock it. You will be thanking me when I'm raking it in. Selling designer apartments to people with more money than sense. Huh. What a state agent now, are you? Well, Jay seems to think I'm up to it. Mm. Or up for it, one or the other. Ah. See you later. Bye. Ah. Hurts when I do that, see? Ah. Stop doing it, then. Mm. I reckon I've chipped it on a pellet from one of them pheasants. You'd have felt it if you'd done that. <sighs> Can you see out? Give over, will you? Get yourself to a dentist if you're that bothered. I haven't got the money for that kind of carry-on. Well, you're going to have to lump it then, aren't you? Or get Lisa to get them pliers out. <laughs> ah, nothing like a bit of family support when you need it. So, this is your little project, is it? Yes. And if you listened to me once in a blue moon, it wouldn't be a complete shock. Yeah, it's hardly little. Uh, hang on, you, you can't go in there. What's it to you? Well, you know what Pollard's like. If you know someone's been trespassing, it can well cost you. Virtually mine anyway. Actually, you know what, Jay? I wouldn't put it past Pollard to do that. <laughs> there ought to be a lock on that door. Proper dangerous in there. Don't want people wandering about hurting themselves. And it's the plot, really, isn't it? The building's going to be unrecognisable by the time we finish with it. Yeah, you're right. It's a big project. But nothing we can't handle, eh? 